Hey guys, welcome to our continuing coverage here at CE Week. I'm John P. I'm Callie Lewis. This is Geek Beat. <laughs> what was that? That was the uh, segue into our next guest. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Be Must be Fit Bark. <laughs> it okay. must be. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Good. Excellent. How are I, you? I thought I'd just make a fool out of myself of for the day. Please Why do. not? We, like, we love that. <laughs> we love to have fun. <laughs> you have one of the most unique devices at this show for sure, <laughs> if not anywhere. Yes. Thank you. So, tell, yes, go tell us. I don't even know what to say other than tell us. Why is there a little doggy dog house here? It and is. why is it called Fitbark? Okay, so we wanted to make it simple uh, that this has something to do with uh, activity tracking and logging the life of our dogs. Uh, but really, well, the. Well, we uh, do for ourselves. That's what we I, do for ourselves. Yeah, so. we have, I mean, it's a huge market right now with all of these activity trackers and, and, and health trackers for us. And I keep saying, why not for our why pets? Why not for dogs? Yes. Well, God knows my wife prefers the dog over me, so I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well yeah. keep the dog healthier. That yeah, way she yeah. has somebody. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, so the idea behind Fitbark is that we recognize uh, that there's a black hole in the way that we communicate with our dogs when we are not with them. Yep. Uh, we don't know what's going on yeah. uh, and it's difficult to uh, keep track of also, you know, uh, what kind of a day are having. You can ask, ask your dog, hey buddy, how are you doing today? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and also it's difficult to understand uh, the longer term trends uh, uh, because we cannot really ask, ask our dogs those questions. Mm -hmm. Uh, if we wear these kind of bracelets, uh, it doesn't. Uh, we don't need. We don't need anyone else to 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 right. tell us we're not feeling well today or something is different from usual. Mm -hmm. But for dogs, we think uh, activity tracking is probably even more relevant than for humans yeah. Yeah. because of a lack of you know they complete they, communication. Yeah, they just can't right. talk to us. Yeah. Exactly. And also, uh, well, why didn't you fix that problem? Why yeah, didn't you I mean, fix come on. The problem of translating <laughs> barks. I'm <laughs> just teasing. Um, and so. Uh, Really, the idea, the idea behind Fitbark is a very tiny activity tracker. This is uh, uh, as tiny as technology allows it to be. Uh, really uh, sophisticated inside uh, and, and simple outside. And we really wanted to make this, uh, uh, you know, besides being tiny, we wanted to make this uh, really cute, yeah, really good looking. Yeah, it is cute. And it obviously says what it yeah. is, you know, just yeah. by the bone shape. Yeah, it's so very simple. Do you want to give it a shot? Yeah, Putting sure. it on the, on the color? So we have this little rubber band like thing, right? You want right? to put it on? Here. No, I don't, I'm not going to put it kidding. on. That, <laughs> that would be feeding into a whole world I don't want to know about. Okay. All right, so Beautiful. you just snap it in. That was it. And That's it. you put that around the dog's collar as or easy as that. That's it. And then what? what is this? So. The way that the, the platform works is uh, uh, you have a Bluetooth 4.0 connection uh -huh. in the device um, and uh, any time the device is within the Bluetooth range of either the home base or the base station or the smartphone of any of the owners or caretakers of this dog, information is updated on our server and is avail available to be visualized on the smartphones of yourself, your yeah. husband, your kids, uh, your dog walker, and so uh, this is a way to leverage the collective efforts mm -hmm. uh, of a family and of, 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 uh, of all the team members for the for the yeah. happiness and the well-being of our dogs. So what happens usually at a show like this is uh, when, when we're not on camera or whatever, everyone's talking to us about stuff that we've seen and what are you most excited uh -huh. about that you've seen? This happens at every show, everywhere, right? And there are always a few gadgets that come up in conversation constantly throughout the few days that we're here. Yeah, the conversation Fitbark. goes something like this. Hey, what's your favorite thing you've seen at the show? Oh, well, oh, blah, blah, blah. I've seen so much. It's really hard. But have you seen the Fitbark? Yeah. Exactly. So oh, yeah. that's been happening that's constantly been happening throughout the couple, the last couple of days. So everybody is really excited about the Fit Bar. And one scenario that popped into somebody else's mind that did not even enter my mind oh, because yeah. 
But here in New York, a lot of people use dog walkers, right? Because there's of not course. a backyard to let them out in and all of that. Of course. And, and so people were using it as like a nanny cam yeah. in their minds. Yes. You know, yes. to well, make sure that the dog walker was there on time and doing it. Yes. And, 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 you know, let's face it. If you pay someone to walk your dog, how do you know if they really walked them? Yeah. Well, or, or how long? Like, did she just let them out, sure. you know? Yeah. And then get bring and, them and the really cool thing uh, uh, regarding uh, you know this this uh, this specific uh, topic is that uh, dog walkers uh, and doggy doggy daycares uh, they love the idea they love the product because they themselves want to promote their brand as that of responsible dog right, walkers. Right, right. And so uh, they're helping us. It's uh, a value uh, added. Yeah, yeah. It's a value add adoption. to their service, right? Yeah. I mean, to be able to even say, hey, this is another additional reason why you really want us to do this because we can we're going to monitor your pet's health we'll right. give you reports yep. you know we'll mm -hmm. th because honestly the people the kind of people who do dog walking they love dogs you just can't do that do job and not be a dog person no. yep so they want to see these pets yeah, be healthy and Absolutely. happy and they want to see them thrive okay so, so what kind of data yeah. am i getting and how do you get it uh, so uh, the data that we uh, track and log and record is 24-7 physical activity data, 3D accelerometer. Um, and uh, uh, the way that we visualize that data, uh, we have a mobile app uh, which is going to be available uh, for both iPhone and Android. Uh, and by the way, we'll be, uh, we'll be soon launching a Kickstarter campaign, okay. very excited, in July. Okay. And so the way, you know, that's, that's the way to get involved even more with our project mm -hmm. for people who like it. Uh, uh, the data is going to be, um, is, is going to be visualized uh, in, uh, in, in a few different ways. Uh, the first thing we do is we leverage uh, uh, data that we collect from various dogs uh, uh, to recommend to your dog specifically a daily minimum activity goal based okay. on his breed, uh, age, uh, uh, size, uh, and, 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 and all that. And does uh, that, idea. is it smart? Does it adjust over time? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, so oh, yes. Well. So, so of course, for uh, as age of your dog right, changes, right, right. it will. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, interesting things that can be done with the technology that is available today when we start to explore areas such as machine learning, predictive yeah. capabilities, yeah. Training the system, asking smart questions to our users, train our system, and then give you new information you didn't didn't even know what was going on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, very soon, uh, we're gonna be, uh, you know, when we have enough uh, hundreds of, of, of dogs in our platform, we'll be able to push ourselves way beyond physical activity uh, and, and and trends that you see with the fitness bracelet. Yeah. If you guys know, for example, you've, you've surely heard of a, of a bracelet called the Amigo. Yes. Uh -huh. Right? What they do is they identify up to, I don't know, 150, 200 types of activities you're right. doing at the gym. What we will try to do is identify uh, behavioral conditions, uh, lifestyle situations and mm -hmm. medical uh, conditions as well so that we can uh, uh, you know one day come to you and tell you you know we observe this uh, with the other dogs yeah maybe you want to get your dog checked for something yeah. for something that's a great idea that is. it also occurs to me that um, once you once you have this uh, once you've sold a lot of these and you have a large canine uh, clientele base you'll have the ability uh, to market certain types of products and services yeah. and things to people. So maybe you could get, uh, let's call it sponsors for, for you guys at a business level uh, from Purina, you know, who wants to push coupons out to the to the mm -hmm. uh, owners uh, and yeah. things like that. Yeah. So that could be a very potentially beneficial marketing yeah. uh, methodology. Thank also, you. as you come up with new products yep. to release, you've got this big built-in base of customers so absolutely yeah. there's so many exciting yeah. exciting things uh, and uh, the more we talk uh, to folks uh, now that we you know we started to get out a little bit uh, the more folks come back with us with uh, incredibly helpful uh, ideas. And exciting <laughs> ideas yeah that's great you know <laughs> that's the benefit of yeah. doing something even pro prior to Kickstarter you sure. know getting yeah. out and talking and networking to yep. people is getting those ideas that you can work into your yes. Kickstarter to hopefully make yes. it even more successful. Absolutely. Uh, it just occurred to me, and it, because we've been talking about so much, maybe I missed it, but did we talk about how long do we expect one of the batteries uh, yeah, we didn't to talk last about that. Uh, sure. when you put that on? Sure. So the answer is uh, um, we can choose 
any number of hours of days between four hours and two months. Okay. We chose seven days, uh, and we'll be you know we'll be play around that number okay. uh, to provide you a user experience where you can check on your dog often enough. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so it's it's we think it's a good compromise. Uh, but once uh, a week or so, yeah. you might need you need to charge the little device. Yeah. So the way the way to charge the device uh, is um, uh, there's a, there's a micro USB connection at the back. Yep. Uh, it's yeah. as standard micro USB yeah. as it gets, that's it. and that's the only reason why uh, you would you would uh, uh, you know remove the fit part from the collar to recharge it, right. then put it back, move it across collars in in in, in seconds, but. Uh, other than that, uh, it just talks wirelessly, uh, you know, with, with smartphones yeah. on the home base. Now, if the dog jumps in the pool and right. they're wearing the tracker, <laughs> will it? That's a good question. Is it waterproof? That's a great is question. It, you know, so the prototypes that we manufactured uh, uh, to date, yeah. they have a silicone plug uh, and they are heavily water resistant. Yeah. Okay. But they can tolerate. The they can tolerate a ton of water. Yeah. yeah. For now, we have manufactured them with the micro USB for. Universal compatibility, sure, right? yeah. but it does not take. It probably uh, takes us, uh, you know, um, a little extra effort to, to go back to the drawing board yeah. uh, and, uh, you know, and and really make this completely waterproof uh, think, and also well, have a, a think, wireless recharging system. I think water resistance. Yeah, you'd have to do is, induction is type enough. charging yeah. or something. Yeah. In order the to thing is that uh, uh, we need to evaluate whether we want to lose the, the micro USB compatibility. And that's something that we hope uh, uh, a lot of users, you know, will will uh, will help us yeah. making this decision. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe this becomes even a, even a uh, stretch goal on, on Kickstarter. Yeah. Yeah. And we ask our users, what do you want to do? We can do both. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, induction charging would be awesome, but at the same time, micro is micro just so universal. To be able to plug it I in. Would, and I would hate for you to go to a proprietary cable. Yeah. I would Thank not you. like that, just <laughs> yeah. personally. Yeah. Yeah. But for induction, I mean, actually, if you did the induction charging, you could still use a micro USB because what you could have is you could have a little induction base station yeah. that plugs into the computer via micro USB. The problem is not getting the power. The problem is getting the data transfer out of it, right? Yeah. If you need to do that. But if it's if it's primarily going to do all its data transfer with Bluetooth, it's all wireless. Yeah, yeah. it's then exclusively really, wireless. I mean. I would then personally, if, it, if would I was better, giving yeah. my vote, I would not care. I'd rather have this be induction. Well, yeah, even I, if I mean, we induction use a would USB be for ideal, the power for the induction thing. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Thank you. Anyway. <laughs> for what it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. So, uh, fitbark.com. Fitbark.com. Uh, get learn some more. basic yes. info. See some basic and info. When are we expecting to maybe launch the Kickstarter? July. July. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Please, right. you know, help us spread the, spread the love know. if you like yeah, this project. Let yeah. us know keep, when. Keep we'll letting push us it. know as soon as you do new releases Absolutely. and updates and stuff. We'll be coming up with uh, a couple of exci exciting announcements okay. in the next couple of weeks. We'll would love to keep you posted. Uh, All absolutely. right, sounds good. Absolutely, we look good. forward to hearing from you more, as, uh, as do, uh, does our audience, yes. because they were asking all sorts of questions and uh, seem very interested in it. And what I love about it also is that it's good for small dogs as well as yeah, big dogs. Doesn't you know, matter. It doesn't big, matter, big, small. So, you could even put one on me. Yeah, I might need to. Keep track of you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, what do you think? Anybody got a dog? You want one of those? Would you put a fitness tracker on your dog? Do you want a dog or do you want one of those? Both. Do you want a dog and do you want a fitness tracker for your dog? Um, so. Some guy what saying is Bluetooth going to be available one, one day. day? Yeah, the it day is, one, not is. one day, day yeah. one. The plan is for that device to commute. Hey, don't be cheating. Don't be cheating uh, and looking at the next product on the uh, next uh, guest. He said it right in front I of me. I know he did. He's and tempting you, me. He is. So, what do you want me to do? Very tempting.